picture like this, which is of the computer simulation, the bright bits are the places where there's more matter, and the dark bits are places where there's very little. And this, this is 15 million years after the beginning. The differences are pretty subtle, but gravity works to exaggerate those changes over time because the bits of the universe that already have more matter than the average will accumulate more matter. They have a stronger gravitational pull. And so as time goes on through a billion years, nearly five billion years up to today, we go from a very smooth universe to the lumpy one that we see today. And it tells us, for example, that we know that there's six or seven times as much matter in the universe than we can account for in normal matter, in hydrogen, helium, and all the rest, in protons and neutrons and all the rest. We know that that's dark matter. Don't know what it is, but we know that it's there. 